My brother sent me this next clip of Oakland rap legend Richie Rich, who him and I used to listen to quite often as kids. Something about the West Coast. Richie Rich shared his thoughts on California. We have people hitting my line talking about, man, where you going? Where you going? Out of California. The fuck out of California. Yeah, California is on its way down the drain. You hear me? Yeah, your local legislators, your motherfucking state legislation, they selling this motherfucker dirt cheap. You understand me? Yeah, they giving immigrants benefits. You hear me? They giving checks to homeless people, bro. I'm not against immigrants. I'm not against homeless people. But they not giving me no motherfucking checks. The schools is fucked up. They not teaching the kids nothing. They not paying the teachers to teach the kids nothing. Yeah, your, my favorite restaurant, La Chevelle, out of here. My favorite football team, the Oak Raiders, out of here. Favorite basketball team, Warriors, out of here. Favorite baseball team, A's, out of here. Yeah, man, everybody is getting the fuck out of California, me included. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, around here, the cost of living is going up and the chances of living are going down. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, how about that? Yeah, California, the people who legislate for us don't live here. They selling this motherfucker out. All the homeless people you see in these Scooby and the Ghost Chaser motorhomes parked everywhere, they not even from here. But there's so much free money going on. Yeah, free money, food stamps, all the shit. Yeah, California is over with, baby. You understand me? Yeah, you heard it from me. Fuck California. Something about the West Coast. Shh, don't tell anybody. Something about the West Coast My have times have changed Huh Richie Rich was one of the biggest Proponents of California Back in the day Specifically Oakland And here he is Dropping some truth bombs California Used to be The hot chick California used to be the place Everyone wanted to come to It's really sad what California has become California went from being that hot chick to being that old bitter just baby mama with four different baby daddies she used to be hot she still wears the highlights she she still has the fake boobs but you know she's getting older now so the boobs are a little wrinkly right California her, her boobs are a little wrinkly now you look at her hands you know you see that she's lived a rough life but you could tell by looking at her that man back in her day Mm. She was a looker California was a looker Now we're the laughing stock of the country And look, before we continue This ain't gonna be no Me crapping on California Cause personally I love California I love a lot of things about California Let me correct that Specifically I love Being in Southern California where I'm an hour away from the mountains. If I left right now, my feet would be touching sand at a beach in 25 minutes. Desert, 55 minutes away from me. It's, it, it is a beautiful place when you look at it like that. Snow, I mean, I... I got snow. I could be at the snow in an hour and I could be in, um, sitting on a beach in an hour. <clears throat> but the things I'm seeing, things I'm seeing and what I've seen California turn into, it's really sad. So I'm going to play Richie Rich comments again. And I'm going to stop it every once in a while when I feel he makes a point that I want to elaborate. People hitting my line talking about, man, where you going? Where you going? Out of California? The f out of California. Yeah, California is on its way down the drain. You hear me? Yeah, your local legislators, your motherfucking state legislation, they selling this motherfucker dirt cheap. A lot of America doesn't even belong to America. There are other countries buying so much land in this country right now. Countries that are, quote, our enemy. Enemies are buying land right now. Farmland right now. I'm not going to name any countries. I'll leave it up to you to go do that research. Plus, I don't want to upset YouTube and them claiming that I'm picking out certain groups. And you guys don't know what I have to deal with tiptoeing around this YouTube-ish nowadays. 
Just try not to get censored, man. But still trying to keep it as real as I can. New California doesn't even belong to California anymore. And the amount of debt we're in is crazy. And a lot of people are moving. This is one of the first times in history or the first time in history where more people are leaving California than coming to California. But let's get back to Oakland rapper, rap legend, man. I loved his voice as a kid. He was on, uh, he was on, uh, I got five on it. Zizak, believe that, token. Where you from, Oakland? Smoking with the temps, the crack, the chest plate. The zips be so fluffy, the whole town loves me. The whole town loves him. But he's out, man. He's gone. He said, Oakland, he said, California is not for me. Here's more of Richie Rich. Yeah, they giving immigrants benefits. You hear me? They giving checks to homeless people, bro. I didn't even have to go much further. They're giving checks to immigrants. They're giving checks to homeless people. I have no problem with immigrants. If they are given, if our, if our, if our government is dumb enough to give away free money, come and get it. Come and get it. I mean, they open the borders. Come on in. They're giving illegal immigrants money, and I can't even call them illegal immigrants. How is it illegal if the if the government's letting you do it? It's not illegal. They're giving immigrants money, y'all. New York City, $53 million has gone to migrants. Billions upon billions upon billions upon billions upon billions upon billions billions have gone to Ukraine. And the other conflict going on. Yes, these people, a lot of these people coming into our country, they are poor. Here you go, man. Hey, I know we have homeless people in our country, but look, they can take a they can take a back seat. They could take a back seat, just like the blacks, because y'all ain't seeing right. We ain't seeing no reparations. We are not getting reparations. Like, can we just knock that talk off? It's so cute when I hear people talk about it. It's not going to happen. We are back in the back of the bus, y'all. Do you realize we're back in we're in the back of the bus now? There are so many other groups out there. So many other groups with much bigger voices and way more letters, stuff like that. So they don't care about our little 13% of vote anymore. Why should they when they have all of these people coming to this country who can be brand new voters? And guess who they're going to vote for? They're not going to vote for the... The party that wants to kick them out and get rid of them. They're not going to vote for the Trumps of the world. They're going to vote for the Bidens of the world. The ones who said, come on in, guys. Yeah, yeah, come on in. Come on in. I don't care what you have. I don't care if you're a criminal. I don't care. Just come on in, baby. There's plenty of room. Not only that, here's a $10,000 credit card. Free phone. Oh, we're going to, don't worry about housing. We'll kick, we'll just kick the kids out of school. Don't worry. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll kick the school. Kindergartners don't need to come to school anyway, right? We'll just fill it up with migrants. We're good. Don't worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Oh, there's not enough schools? Don't worry. We got hotels. Oh, yeah, there's hotels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be good. We'll put you up in a nice hotel. Come on in. Just, hey, remember, come November 2028 just remember who looked out for you huh remember who looked out for you i mean that's pretty much what's going on right it's all for votes all right let's go back to richie rich oakland rapper who says it's time to get the hell out of california Against immigrants, I'm not against homeless people, but they're not giving me no motherfucking checks. The schools is fucked up. They're not teaching the kids nothing. They're not paying the teachers to teach the kids nothing. Yeah, you're, my favorite restaurant, La Chevelle, out of here. My favorite football team, the Oak Raiders, out of here. Favorite basketball team, Warriors, out of here. Favorite baseball. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Movies that used to be filmed in Los Angeles, out of here. Movies that used to be filmed in Hollywood and Burbank, out of here. Let's go to New Mexico. Taxes aren't as crazy. 
football team's gone. Team A's out of here. Yeah, man, everybody is getting the fuck out of California, me included. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, around here, the cost of living is going up and the chances of living are going down. Yeah. Oh, that's a deep line. Cost of living going up, chances of living going down. And this is coming from someone who lived through the 80s and 90s, ladies and gentlemen. He saw California. He saw Oakland probably at its worst that it's ever been. And he is saying that. Could you imagine what it's looking like now or what he foresees it to look like in the near future? Cost of living has gone up substantially. I'm one of those guys. I don't know if I'll ever move out of California, though. I thankfully bought my house at a time where... I was lucky, blessed, all of the above. My house is worth double what it was just seven years ago when I bought it. I couldn't I couldn't afford a house right now, though. If I wanted, I'm keeping, look, I could, but I would probably, it, it would be rough, rougher. It would be rough. I would have to, I don't know what I would have, I would have to start in the OnlyFans. But to buy a home right now, it would be really hard in California unless I wanted to live back in the hood, which I don't want to live back in the hood. I won't be able to find anything this big, this nice, this beautiful and this nice area with all these nice neighbors anywhere in Los Angeles for the price I got it. So I feel for these kids, man. Cost of living is going up and the chances of living are going down. The chances of living are going down. Scary. It's it's borderline getting scary when you hear things that happen in your own community or communities right next to you. It's it's a war zone. It's getting back to being a war zone out there. And the police's hands are tied. The police, period. They try calling the police for it. Try calling 911. First of all, you're going to be put on hold probably for 10, 15 minutes. Then it's going to take them another 20 minutes to an hour to get to you if they are even able to show up because they got a call that was a little more urgent than yours. That is the reality of living in California right now. The bad guys are a winning. That's why I encourage everyone out there, and I will encourage you... For a long time. Buy yourself a legal weapon, legal weapons, and keep them in your house to protect yourself. Teach your kids, your family, your wife, whoever lives with you, your grandma, whoever lives with you, teach them how to protect themselves because motherfuckers are kicking in doors now. And they'll get a little slap on the wrist. They're taking people's lives and they're getting slaps on the wrist. That is the reality of the California that we are living in right now. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Yeah, California, the people who legislate for us don't live here. They selling this motherfucker out. That's usually the case. The people who represent your district... In Los Angeles, whatever district you're part of, odds are they don't even live in that district. They live far away. I do believe the person who represents my district lives in Orange County. And it doesn't look like Orange County in my district. So these people who are fighting for you, representing you, they don't even have the balls to own a home or, or an ap apartment or whatever in the district that they represent. You know why? Because they know their district is shit. So much free money going on. Yeah, free money, food stamps, all the shit. Yeah, California is over with, baby. You understand me? Yeah, you heard it from me. Fuck California. What do you guys think about Oakland rapper Richie Rich, Mr. I Got Five On It remix? Mr. Something About the West Coast. He was representing the West Coast harder than most West Coast artists back then. Now he's like, F California. I'm out of here. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And before you head out, please make sure you hit that like button. Hit it right now while you're listening to the sound of my voice. Hit it. Boom. Right there. Bah. 
doesn't cost you anything. Just put your little finger. Get that finger right there. Yeah, put the blunt down. Put the blunt. Thank you. Thank you. And just hit that like button right there. Bam. Thanks. Boom. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if this is the first time you are joining my channel and you like what you hear. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Guys, be safe out there. It's getting crazy. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.